ZMI has been the go-to low-intensity runecrafting method for a long time now. But with the release of Sins of the Father Quest, it has become much more similar to Zia runecrafting. Dayalt Essence Mining was recently added and allows you to mine Dayalt Essence, which when used for runecrafting provides 50% more XP. This is amazing with the ZMI altar specifically, because ZMI provides 170% more XP per essence, and this stacks multiplicatively with Dayalt Essence for 255% more XP per essence, or basically an 85% increase from Dayalt Essence rather than the regular 50%. You can mine more than 4,000 essence an hour, which for my testing lasted about an hour and a half at ZMI. This method is basically just slightly worse runecrafting XP an hour than regular ZMI runecrafting, but much more AFK. This is also an incredibly good option for early Iron Man builds, as it can be tough to get essence early on an Iron Man. To do Dale essence mining, you must have completed Sins of the Father quest. For equipment, I recommend bringing the Prospector's outfit if you have it. This provides a very small amount of mining XP, so it is by no means necessary. You can also receive gems from mining essence, and a charged glory will increase the rate at which you receive them. I also bring a gem bag, of course, as well as my Draken's Medallion and Vire Noble outfit. The essence is stackable, so as long as you have one inventory space, you're good to go. Fast way to get there is a method my clan enlighten me on. This is another great reason to hit up No Monkey Clan chat. Form up, boys. Teleport to Theater of Blood with the Draken's Medallion and talk to the Vire Watch by the bank. He will ask if you want to get sent to the mines, which we're gladly going to do. Talk to a Vire in the mines while wearing the outfit in order to be immediately released and then crawl through the northern wall, walking down the stairs that are just inside Darkmire. This method is also the fastest way to get to the lab for the awesome new blood belt spot. There are three essence mining spots in here, where one at a time will light up. This indicates the spot is mineable, very similar to the essence blocks with Zeo runecrafting. You can typically mine for about 30 seconds before it jumps to another pillar, and you have to mine it there. I tested this with a black pickaxe, and it was significantly slower than a dragon pickaxe, so the better your pickaxe is, the better your rates are going to be. I'm not sure if mining level affects this at all, but it's pretty likely. You get 2-3 to three essence per successful mine, and for my efforts with a dragon pickaxe, I received 4,000 an hour. I wasn't mining perfectly, so these rates could probably even be a bit higher. You can turn the shards into Narana Titanin in the corner of the essence mine, and she will in turn send all of the shards to your bank as essence. There are some downsides to Dayalt Essence. You get a bit less XP overall an hour at ZMI than you would with Pure Essence. You also will receive less profit in total from runecrafting and half of the pet chance. But these downsides are worth accepting in order to make early runecrafting more tolerable if you're doing ZMI anyway. Lavas are still going to stay the best method if you want more XP an hour. ZMI is a more complicated method than other runecrafting methods, but much less intensive. To do ZMI effectively, you will need to have completed Lunar Diplomacy for the Lunar Spellbook, as you need it for Arania Teleport, and NPC Contact to repair your pouches. I also recommend not starting until you have a high agility level and the Graceful Outfit, as you will be doing a ton of running. ZMI has no runecrafting requirement, but it scales with your runecrafting level, so the higher it is, the more XP and better runes you will receive. The chance of better runes only increases every 10 levels, like for example 1 to 9, 9 to 19, etc. all the way up to 99. For gear, this is what I brought. Your goal is to prioritize run energy bonuses and then defensive bonuses. There are so many people at ZMI now that you very rarely get attacked by the enemies in the dungeon. I brought full graceful, a glory for the defensive bonuses, a fury is better if you have one, I just didn't, dust battle staff, dragon fire shield, this isn't necessary but I have one anyway, and Elijah is technically best in slot for this area, just bring the best shield you have defensively. I also bring my Explorer's Ring for the run restoration, and a blessing in case I need prayer. The best in slot ring here now is the Endurance Ring that just came out with the Vampire Quest, obtainable from the Hallowed Sepulchre. It is around 40 mil right now, so if it comes down a bit, I highly recommend grabbing one and using it. It allows you to use two doses of stamina and reduces your run energy drain rate by 15%, which stacks with Graceful's 30% run recharge bonus. The effect of reducing energy drain rate is unique to the ring, and incredibly useful, especially at ZMI. So if you can afford it, that's a priority. An imbued Ring of Suffering is also a good choice for its extra defensive bonuses. For inventory, you will need a rune pouch with Cosmic, Astral, and Mine runes. These runes let you use NPC Contact and Arania Teleport. The Mine runes are for opening the bank, as they are currently the cheapest runes in game, 
You can alternatively use Law Runes in place of Cosmics and pull out a Cosmic Rune when you need to repair your pouches with NPC contact. I skip the Law Runes as you almost always craft at least one Law Rune at the altar. If you don't have all of the pouches, it becomes more likely you won't get a rune. Bring all of the pouches you can. You can obtain these in the Abyss or the Abyssal area with Fairy Ring Code ALR. I also recommend talking to the Dark Mage in the Abyss and receiving the Abyssal book, as this will skip a dialogue option with him in NPC Contact. You will also need a good supply of stamina potions. I prefer one dose potions as you don't have to worry about banking the remaining potion if you have Vile Smashing unlocked at the Barbarian Outpost. Make sure your spellbook is set to Lunars and use Arrhenia to teleport. Go down the ladder to the north. I recommend marking the ladder as it makes it easier to click on. If it's your first time, talk to the banker right near the ladder and ask about quick payment deals. Make sure you select Mine Runes. Now whenever you left-click the banker, he will take a payment of 20 Mine Runes and open the bank for you. You need to pay with 20 of any type of rune, and Mine Runes are cheapest at 3 GP each currently. Pull out Essence and fill your pouches. The Stamina Potion will last about 2 runs. Pull it out the second time you pull out Essence if you have a giant pouch, or the first time if you don't, to make them last as long as possible. You will use the bank 3 times a run if you use a giant pouch, or 2 times without. Make sure you remove placeholders on your pouches and rune pouch, and fill your bank with bank fillers, as this allows you to quickly bank all of the runes you will be crafting. Many people follow other players in order to AFK through the run to the altar. I recommend using something on a player, like a piece of essence, as this improves your player's pathing and prevents you from getting stuck on pieces of the geometry. You can find huge trains of people on World 327. You get about 25 seconds of AFK time from each run at which point you will craft all of your essence. It's best to drop the cheap runes between crafts to improve XP rates, as you will have to pull out your essence from your pouches and craft extra times if you don't drop the runes. Once you've used all of your essence in your pouches, teleport back to Urania and start another run. If you're getting hit too hard to keep your HP up, I recommend throwing on Rapid Heal and Protect from Ranged and praying at the altar between runs. I barely got hit as there is a huge amount of players doing this currently. Eventually you will have a pouch to grade. If using the giant pouch, this will happen after about 10 trips, and without it, it will take around 31 trips before any degrading occurs. When this happens, simply use NPC contact and talk to the dark mage. Complete his dialogue, and he will repair all of your pouches. After the first time using NPC contact, when you right-click the spell, it will have the last person you talk to as an option. So you can just right-click and hit dark mage to save time. There's quite a few ways Runelink can help you here, I recommend creating a bank tag tab with your essence and stamina potions so you can quickly pull out supplies you need from your bank. You should also highlight the cheap runes you can drop with inventory tags. These can be used by right clicking the inventory icon and hitting configure inventory tags. You can mark them any color you like. I stuck with red. There's also the essence pouch external plugin. This is supposed to show a number on your rune crafting pouches with how many essences stored in each. But unfortunately, this wasn't working for me. I believe the plugin is currently bugged. It would be worth grabbing from the plugin hub at the bottom of plugins and testing if it is working when you train your rune crafting on your own. Make sure you have the boost timer for stamina potions on in the timers plugin as well, as this is incredibly useful for knowing when to repot. I was getting 63k XP an hour with level 86 rune crafting, and I wasn't very fast with banking or crafting whatsoever. You could easily get this much higher. With worse pouches or a lower rune crafting level, you can expect to get a bit less than this. I also received about 300k GP in profit. Keep in mind you don't get this much per hour as you spend time mining the essence. Some questions. Does this beat Zia runecrafting if you have a higher runecrafting level? I really don't think so. Blood runecrafting provides a ton of GP an hour and is only a bit worse than ZMI even at my level. From level 77 to 79, I would bet blend runecrafting would actually beat ZMI for XP an hour. Soul runecrafting should also still always be more profit and more XP an hour than day alt ZMI whilst also being similar intensity. Is there any reason to do ZMI with regular pure essence now? Of course, you could be missing the tough master quest requirement. That's a pretty good reason. But even if you have that requirement, doing pure essence runecrafting is a bit faster XP an hour, along with being a lot more GP an hour and having double the pet chance. I personally probably won't be using pure essence at ZMI on any account I make, as it is much less AFK for only a bit more experience in runes. If you want faster XP, I think lavas are still the way to go. For low intensity rune crafting, this now seems to be your best bet. And that's going to do it for the video. Leave a like if you liked it, or subscribe. 
Thanks, guys.